we're here with Tony Galvin. How you doing, Tony? I'm fine, thank you. Um, obviously, you won two FA Cups back in the 80s and the great Spurs side under Keith Birkinshaw. Watching Spurs yesterday lose their eighth semi-final in a row. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, actually, I, I wasn't really aware that there was such a major issue, yeah. to be honest, before the game. Then I read about it, because um, obviously before yesterday it was seven. Um, but obviously those players who played yesterday are the ones responsible for that. You know, they've uh, played in a couple of semi-finals. Um, I thought last year in the semi-final against Chelsea, they played really well, should have won that game. Mm -hmm. uh, and yesterday in the first sort of 20 minutes, started off really well. Uh, it, everything looked very positive. Um, same mm -hmm. old story, you know, if you get on top of a team, get that second goal and I think the game would have been totally different. But they didn't, mm -hmm. they equalised and it sort of tilted a bit to, in their favour. Obviously, in 1981, you won, you know, the first FA Cup. Do you do you feel that that FA Cup win kind of led to more trophies? Are you know, winning the FA Cup? Yeah, I think because in '81, Spurs had done a bit of a barren period. They hadn't won anything for a few years, so uh, that definitely gives you a lift. So we had two or three good years after that. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, <clears throat> I, I personally don't think the the players that are playing for Spurs at the moment. I don't think they they thinking negatively. It, yesterday wasn't one of the better days um, but I'm quite confident they'll be fine next season. Challenging for the league I expect them to be up there in the top three or four next season no problem okay. and hopefully have another good run in the cup. You just got to yeah. put those things those sort of eight stop talking about it and just get out just there get and up. play. We spoke to Keith Birkinshaw we asked him which players of the 80s side would get into the current side he said Glenn Hoddle Ozzy Ardiles and he said Tony Galvin. <laughs> what do you reckon about well, that's that? That's very nice to keep. I think he's just been a bit loyal to a fellow Yorkshireman. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, one thing that I, I could certainly do was run. Mm -hmm. You know, I could cover. Do you so think it, that's something it, missing in the current game? But someone people can dribble. Uh, like, yeah, like but I could run with the ball, but I could yeah. run without the ball. What I'm saying is, in the in the modern game, the the my perfect position would be a wing back. You know, I wouldn't be a winger, not like a tricky winger like Son. I'd be a I'd be a wing back because mm. I could defend and I could head and I could trap back. So that's where I play uh, in the modern game and it wouldn't be a problem. Do you reckon you'd get in the current Spurs mm. side? It's a very good team. We've got some very good players. We've got a very good left back and a very good right back. We've got, actually, we've got a few good full backs, wing backs. And, um, well, you know, you'd be in the squad and see what happens. Mm. But um, Spurs have a very strong squad at the moment, very strong. Who do you love watching from the current Spurs Oh, team? oh it's quite easy for me. My favourite player by mile is Ericsson. Ericsson. Without a shadow of a doubt, favourite player. I think he makes play, uh, Spurs tick. Uh, he's involved in almost everything Spurs do. Um, I think Harry would sort of saying, "I want wherever wherever he plays football, wherever in the future he wants Ericsson with him." And I think if we keep those two players together, playing for Spurs over the next two or three years, the, the future looks bright. But without doubt, Ericsson. Love watching him. He's fit, <laughs> two feet, great vision, can score. Uh, can tackle, close down, uh, a great player in his position. Okay, cheers for coming on, Tony. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you.